really good experience, would highly recommend him. I've had such a hard time getting back into like working out. I don't know. $250 for the glasses. Just feel like so shit. They were $10. Hello! Okay, I haven't vlogged in a minute. I'm gonna try to be normal. It is currently Friday. Whoa, my hair is really voluminous right now. It's like crazy. I haven't even done anything to it. I'm about to do my hair. Welcome to the vlog, everybody. Got an extra long weekend because my work so kindly gave us this Friday half off. I was able to get a lot of errands done. Essentially, this morning, I went to the gym. Well, not this morning, like this early afternoon or whatever. I went to the gym and then I went to the doctors, you know, like a walk-in clinic, multiple issues, which then they told me that I should only really be bringing one issue per appointment. I have been getting eczema that hasn't been going away, which then they told me that I should just continue using the topical steroid that I already use. Last week I was feeling like super under the weather like to the point where I was so nauseous every single time I'd eat that I would almost like pass out but I just like was not well so last Friday I actually didn't even go to work. I asked for a referral to get some blood work done. Just do have to go into like a little lab and get my blood drawn and then they will call me once the results are in and then I also got an Bruh. eye infection or blepharitis in this eye right here. It seems to have already subsided. On Thursday she was puffing out like she fucking it looked like I got a bee sting like in Animal Crossing and yeah she seems to be going back to normal. Even though I'm going out tonight though I'm gonna avoid putting any eye makeup on. I'm just gonna do a little face makeup and call it a day. Also, it doesn't help. The last couple days, my eyelids have been really uneven and I've been so self-conscious about it. I'd go to the office and when people would make eye contact with me, I'd be like, <sighs> yeah, like I was not well. So I got all that looked at. Oh, I need to take my vitamin, actually. I bought these gummy vitamins and I know multivitamins actually probably aren't the best because it's not like customized to your health and stuff like that. But anyways, I bought these gummy vitamins because I was like, oh my God, I'm so nauseous. Uh, I'm probably iron deficient. These just don't even have iron in them. Eden? <laughs> Said my breath smelled like farts because I ate these. But they just taste like strawberries, so I don't know what the problem is. So I went to the doctor's office, got all that done. I went for acupuncture, which it was my very, very first time. And I absolutely loved the acupuncturist that I went to. If you need one, go to a hand in need and ask for William. Probably the best care I've gotten in like my entire 26 years of living on this earth. Usually in that kind of medicine, it's like not well explained. Whereas like he modernizes it and is able to speak in layman terms. And so that the general public who goes to him can understand what they're doing. I actually didn't realize this when I booked the appointment, I thought it was like strictly just acupuncture, but he actually does acupuncture, which is like the tiny little needles. And then he does cupping. And then he also does gua sha, which everyone is aware of what gua sha or gua sa is. I am a bruiser. I am a bruiser. Do you guys see this? <gasps> really good experience, would highly recommend him. Service was amazing. He's just, <clears throat> actually going out for my co-worker's birthday. Luckily my eye isn't messed up anymore. I need to get ready. We're stuck with going to ready at nine o'clock, but I don't care because I love her. So I'm gonna go anyways. Even though this place doesn't give you free water. I'm literally gonna bring my own water bottle. I don't fucking care. I'm gonna quickly dice and air wrap it. I will be back once I'm done my hair because it's just too chaotic. William told me that I have chaotic energy inside of me and I think that's true. Thank you guys so much for watching another video of mine. I'm so excited to bring you guys along on this very extra long weekend. If you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I will be here every single Friday. Okay, this is how she's looking. Honestly, I didn't take the people who had Dyson seriously. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, Aiden. I didn't take them seriously when they were always like, oh, it doesn't last that long in your hair, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, there's no way this thing $700. It better be lasting me a lifetime. I think with thicker hair types, it just like doesn't stay. And I'm gonna do my makeup really quickly. I'm gonna do the same thing, but like I mentioned, I'm probably not gonna put on any eye makeup because my eye do be a little sus. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. It's gonna be real bad. I look like a literal bug. I have a cowlick on my head. I don't know what I'm wearing yet. I literally look like a little bug. But I did take out my curlers, as you can see. My hair is like this currently so that I get a little bit of oomph back here. Probably should not have eye makeup on. I'm going on a night out like I want to look good. It's only this part that's like slightly irritated still. I also think I'm getting my period because I'm slightly getting cramps. Let me change in my outfit. I'm gonna wear heels tonight. I don't know if you guys have ever even seen me wear heels. I don't even own heels. I think this is what I'm gonna wear. I don't know but I just don't have that much time. See-through little navy top. I hope I'm wearing it right. Brandy black skirt that I always wear and I have little heels. I'm gonna bring you guys on my iPhone. Aiden is making us some drinks right now but I don't want to bring out my camera just in case I lose it.
Good morning. I picked my pimples as soon as I woke up. What's this book? Yeah. We got a new book. We got home at like, I don't even know what time. I think we got home at like two. Ignore my horrible skin. I swear every single time I wear makeup, my skin just like, why is it so big? Started at Moretti. Our reservation was for nine. A couple drinks, they gave us a free shot, free little dessert. We just had some pasta and calamari. It was delicious. We made our way to Escobar at like 11. No one was there when we got there. And then Aiden and his friends were out too. So then we went and met up with them at Isabelle's. Is it Isabelle's or Isabella's? Above Belfast Love. I really liked it actually. It had a very like nice vibe. A lot bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be like a small little thing. It was huge upstairs men are hornier there and then Aiden and I walked home even though my feet were like literally screaming because I was in so much pain Aiden gave me his shoes and he walked home in socks my outfit was so cute I really liked it I always get like strawberry skin I don't know if you guys know what that is but I always get strawberry skin like right here Aiden and I have no plans today even though it's Canada day most of our friends have gone away to cottages we bought a calendar let me show you guys and Aiden like fully filled it out I wanted to watch the new Insidious, but Aiden keeps telling me that it's not in theaters yet, which I feel like he's lying. No, no. I'm gonna eat these. They're so good. That I didn't finish yesterday because I didn't have time. I'm gonna eat this and edit a TikTok video for a brand. Aiden hates wasabi, but I love it. It tastes so good to me. And no, I didn't buy this bottled water. I have a slight attachment to it now. TikTok gotta stop serving me animal videos. It makes me so sad. She's been in the adoption center for a year. It doesn't even care. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got adopted. No, you're not. <laughs> Wanna see if it's spiked? Oh, it's kinda heavy. home now and I match the bedding. Bowl of yogurt. Did a little walkie. Only usually eat fresh fruit. I don't know, my parents, my mom specifically, she like only ever brought home fresh fruit. So like frozen fruit is like very foreign. The only time I usually have frozen fruit is actually when I'm making like a smoothie. I mean, at the end of the day, it pretty much stays the same. It's like seven o'clock now. I might make some spam fried rice later. So we've been having a pretty slow, lazy day today because the berries are frozen. This is almost like a frozen yogurt. I'm gonna finish eating this. Talk to you guys later. Bye. I've done nothing, but I'm also making some soup. I'm like literally pregnant nan. Not actually pregnant, but like pregnant nan right now because I have cramps. I'm probably gonna watch a movie. I didn't really want to record anything because I haven't been doing anything and there's nothing to update you guys on and that's kind of boring. That's what I've been up to. Yeah. actually not the morning it's like one o'clock now i'm gonna take a big poopy no. just in a previous video i was trying to get new glasses because i can't see and i'm very blind without my contacts my old glasses sorry i'm trying to get a new camera battery are from 2020 so they are not the right prescription anymore i should really get a new pair and especially because i get benefits with work that's a plan right now and then aiden's mom is downtown but she's gonna meet up with us for dinner we don't know what we're gonna do for dinner but we will be doing something. I've had such a hard time getting back into like working out and working out consistently. I sleep so much, but I also sleep so late. So I think my sleep schedule is just horrendous. It's a problem and we're working on it. But yeah, we're gonna go now. We'll probably get a coffee on the way because Aiden has not had one yet. Aiden, say hi to the people. Yay.
ate lunch yet, clearly. All we've had is coffee and it is 3.23. I only went to one glasses shop, optical store. I don't know what to call it. All the workers were so nice, but I went to Warby Parker. I think that's what it's called on Queen West. And they like love my little camera. They're like, oh my God. Didn't get the glasses yet. They emailed me. So basically all I have to do is send my prescription. $250 for the glasses. And it takes two weeks to get here. The style in Carlton and in Seaweed Crystal for the color. Never thought of getting green for glasses, but I actually really liked it and I thought it was really cute. They're also made for people with lower nose bridges, which is perfect because I, like I've said a million times, I have no nose bridge. I highly recommend if you are looking for glasses, specifically just for their customer service alone, but the glasses also just obviously felt nice. Otherwise I wouldn't have stayed and been interested in them. And then in got me a little coffee, bought a new plant. She's cute. But we needed something because the one on our coffee table, I don't know, we got it for really cheap, like five bucks and it died. But I want to do a little quick grocery store haul. First off, we got these for free. Wild Garden Crushed Apple Cider. I've had these before. I actually had them in office at our office party and they're pretty good. Like they say light and crisp taste, which I agree with. Aiden got some mortadella. Pizza pretzel bun thing. I'm gonna put it in the microwave. One singular banana, a grapefruit because Aiden's gonna make a spritz. We did get a white wine. For the spritzes, we also got some club soda, some peanut butter because we were running low. We got some salsa it was on sales 250 for this big thing soup for right now to have chippies for aiden's mom when she gets here organizing and doing some admin stuff aka writing on the calendar because Aiden's gonna get mad at me if I don't use it so I have to use my google calendar and use that watching youtube and messaging a couple people back just because I was doing the calendar anyways I was kind of like oh I should probably figure out when I should see this person in the summer Aiden's mom is on her way so he's making some spritzes right now just here. okay bye I don't know why I just ended that so abruptly I thought she was literally outside the door but she's not Aiden's going downstairs to get her we're gonna have some spritzes we're gonna have a couple little snackies some salsa and chips we're gonna be going out for dinner I don't know where because I'm not particularly hungry per se because I just ate a big, big fat, fat fucking lunch. lunch I will take some clips on my phone Good morning! Didn't get up to a whole lot last night. Just went out for dinner with Aiden's mom and Aiden. We tried to go to Sugo, could not get in. We got there and they're like, no tables for tonight. It seems very difficult to get in. So instead, we popped by Gio, which Aiden and I have been to, on the Michelin Guide. It's Italian, but it's vegetarian vegan. Pretty sure they forgot to put our order in though because our food took over an hour to get to us. Aiden's mom got me some beautiful, beautiful peonies. I'm just putting on a little bit of makeup because I am going to Markham to meet up with my parents to get some dim sum. See the kitties, see how they're doing and everything like that. Aiden's already left. He is golfing today. I've really wanted to try press on nails. My nails are so healthy and long right now, but I do need to file them soon because I have a feeling if I don't, they will break. Oh, the timer's going off. I'm boiling some rice or making some rice right now because I forgot last night that I said I wanted to do fried rice for dinner tonight for Aiden and I when he's back from golf. If you don't know, if you make fried rice, never use freshly cooked rice. Like it has to be at least like usually a day old. I'm recording an extra day because it's a long weekend. Technically, this is like the stat day for Canada day. It's just another day for me to get to do things I want to do instead of work. Just more fun things. I'm so sad because I'm, I've been so bad about working out. Like I just feel like so shit when I don't work out. I just have a lack of motivation right now. I don't know why. I felt so accomplished every single day I'd work out. But now it's just like I get so tired. I'm not in the mood to do it. A little depressed state to be honest. So much stuff to do all the time that I think I'm just exhausted my mind's always racing let me check on the rice real quick putting pressure on myself to do things before i feel like when i didn't feel well i would still force myself to go to the gym felt like going to the gym was such a big part of my identity and like who i was it's not that i hate the gym or anything like that i just haven't felt like in love with it in the summer it's really hard for me to stay on track especially living downtown i think that's another big change for me i've never lived downtown in the summer 
Actually, I've never lived downtown, period. A lot harder to have a routine, I feel like. My routine has been thrown off balance so many times already that I'm kind of giving up. I have no excuse. I could definitely wake up earlier. Like, I don't start work until 10 o'clock. I'm just not a morning person. The thing is, like, I wake up and I'm, like, happy. Like, I'm not a grumpy morning person. I don't need coffee as soon as I wake up. I don't love waking up. And Ian's like, that means you're not a morning person. If you guys know, previously, like, I've always loved to cook. I love cooking. I love making food. And I haven't been doing that. So I just don't feel like myself. And I feel bad because I've, like, literally turned on the camera and just started ranting to you guys. I can change. I think when people want to change, they will change. And it's just been a long... I've just been avoiding it. Okay, I think my rice is on fire. One second. I need to get back on the horse. And how many times I say I feel like? Why do I keep saying that? Change is always necessary and a very regular thing. I think this is all I'm going to do, really, because I don't want to put on mascara. I've been in a mood where I don't put on mascara. I just literally do my eyebrows, a little bit of concealer, a little blush. Put on some lip products so I don't look naked. I'm excited to go home because I get to see the cats. Did I tell you guys? I don't know if I told you guys this. When I drove the cats home, the cats pooped on me. Well, just soda. Soda pooped on me. Twice. Soda's really bad car anxiety and travel anxiety, but I forgive him. Like, he's just a little bean. He doesn't know what's happening. He was really scared, and then he proceeded to throw up in the car right after that, and I felt really bad. Like, he literally was sleeping on his vomit. Look at these flowers. Put some dry shampoo on because my hair is so nasty. bedroom and we went to the Pacific Mall. I got a new phone case. I just got a pink one. This is what I wanted anyways, so it kind of just worked out. I still want to buy an Octo Buddy, so I'm gonna buy that off Amazon. We got dim sum. I haven't been to that place before, but it was really cute and like nice. I liked it. I'm just in my room because I wanted to bring home some like nail stuff that I have. I was thinking of just like painting my nails and like doing them or getting the press-ons. I don't know. I don't love painting my own nails. I'm just gonna buy a couple colors just so that I have them. I'm probably gonna leave now because I really just don't want to get stuck in traffic on the way back. Oh, I'm sweating. My parents don't turn the AC on, so it's so hot. Alrighty. Alrighty, let's go. Hello, I'm literally home, but I'm so greasy and like sweaty. I didn't realize how hot it was. I'm eating some salsa and chip. Did get some press-ons, but I do need to go buy glue from shoppers. Mm. This is what they look like. These seem so cute. The thought of having really long nails like freaks me out. It doesn't freak me out. It's just like, I just feel like it doesn't suit me. They were $10. You can reuse them. I did debate buying another pair, but I was just like, what if I end up hating them and then I don't wear the other one? Oops. This is my mood for now. It is 5.08. I'm going to start editing. I feel like I don't really like salsa. I don't know if I want to put these on tonight. <laughs> All I've been doing is editing, but I'm gonna pick up some nail glue now I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to do my nails tonight realistically because I do want to go to the gym And I still need to make dinner and successful no nail glue and got some tum blue. I'm also like literally so bloated Okay, so I just finished eating, but I'm not gonna do anything else tonight. I couldn't find nail glue, so I'm not putting on the fake nails, unfortunately. I think I'm gonna edit, and then I'm gonna try to go to the gym and do some like leg workouts and Stairmaster and whatnot, just because I haven't gone to the gym and I've not been consistent, like I said. So I'm gonna end it here for now, and I hope all of you guys enjoyed watching. I love all of you guys, and thank you so much for watching another video. Bye! You're not having to scream bye like you always do? Bye.